my goal, and this is always my goal, is that I want people who never would attend, who would never would feel welcome in a museum. When I was growing up, my mother and my father knew nothing about contemporary art. They knew nothing about the museums. And to be quite frank, I don't think they felt very welcome. Um, so this is something, this is the barrier that I'm trying to kind of break down with my work. Um, I want people to feel welcome. I want people from all cultures. So you, there's, there's a few pieces that I wanted to show. Um, so this is, so again, this is a hybrid of the back of my friend's Coupe de Ville. And it, I use this as a presentation and as a springboard to show the, uh, to show custom nails that I had produced. So this was produced, what I did is I, I invited nail artists to work out of my studio for about a month. And I basically handed over my practice to them. And I collaborated with them. It was a true collaboration. It was, it was, it was a push and pull of ideas. Um, I needed to make sure that I kept my, my language within, within the work. And we were quite successful doing it. And so this is, this is from Kay Amor. And Kay Amor is her nickname. And what, Kay, what, what I loved about, about Kay is that Kay is, was a young white female who grew up on the west side of Chicago in a very, very um, gang-infested neighborhood. And so she had this really wonderful demeanor about her, but she came from a really good Christian family. So there was all of these kind of, it was really funny because, you know, aside from making this, I had these wonderful conversations with her in my studio about her history and about where she came from and how she felt about, you know, being, you know, white in an African American community and how she felt, you know, about growing up in this neighborhood but then coming from an affluent Christian family. So that was the story behind this. And this one was with, uh, was with uh, Rhonda, who actually was from the west side of Chicago, who came from, uh, who lived in an African American uh, community, but really wanted to explore and loved her idea of expansion and becoming a, a young business entrepreneur. She was very smart, very affluent, and her idea was that she wanted to own a chain of nail salons. But it was really funny to see the, the dichotomy between both of them and what their aspirations were. So for me, it's not just about making the nails, it was actually about these conversations that I had with these young women. And for me, this was really kind of the nexus, like this statement is really the nexus of this home salon. Again, it was these women and these men just completely talking about their ex-lovers and husbands and they're gossiping about co-workers and so, I, one of the things that I thought of was how could I integrate the idea of the nail culture within the conversation that they were having in the side of the salon. So I created these imaginary custom middle finger rings. <laughs>